Hello everybody and welcome to a slightly different video um, than usual. What we're going to look at today is six awesome uses for the new custom billboards in Planet Zoo. So some of these things are things that you may have already used them for, you may have thought of yourself. Um, some of them may be things that you hadn't yet considered, um, but all of them quite interesting uses. Obviously these new custom billboards are really amazing tool for adding some realism, adding a lot of creativity and um, design and things like that into our zoos. So uh, yeah, let's dive straight in. So the first one, the biggest one we've got here is murals. So murals or backdrops, um, that sort of thing. So as you can see here, we have got three different enclosures. Each one of these is using a custom billboard at the back here with a big picture of the um, habitat that the animal comes from um, to create that extra aspect of kind of immersion um, and that sort of thing. So on the left here we've got the camel obviously using a kind of desert dune, sand dunes kind of background um, to blend in there. Uh, in the middle here we have a gorilla in there somewhere I think unless he's been taken out. Um, which it looks like it might have been, <clears throat> or it's escaped, of course. Um, so we've got the kind of jungle background, uh, just a lot of green, obviously planting it up, blending it in, making it um, look a bit more seamless in terms of the uh, the sort of join there where it um, meets the floor. And then here, with a lot of poo in there, we have the polar bear, so obviously a nice snowy scene at the back and uh, a few rocks and things to hide the join. So this is a really good tool, something that I've enjoyed using quite a lot of in my uh, recent building for my tropical house in Crimson Valley Zoo, um, which I will be posting video of at some point. Um, and uh, yeah, I just think this adds a really good aspect of immersion. It's something that a lot of zoos will have, painted murals and things on the backs of walls um, or in enclosures to uh, add that little aspect. So yeah, a really good tool there to uh, add some creativity, make some interesting designs, um, add that little bit extra immersion and things like that. Moving on, we have our selection of smaller ones but uh, still very nice uses. So obviously one of the most obvious is signage. So here we have a selection of different signage types. So obviously in zoos we will have various different types of signage. So um, we've got a, a few different ones here. So down the bottom here we obviously have a zoo logo. So that is um, something that we would have probably at the entrance maybe or just inside, maybe dotted around in certain areas but more likely um, in those kinds of areas near the entrance. Um, could be as big as you like, obviously I've just used smaller ones here to demonstrate um, a few all in one small area but you could go as big as you like if you wanted I suppose. Um, to the right here we have a zoo map so this would be a really good one um, something that a lot of people would like to have in their zoos to kind of display um, a rough outline of what their zoo actually looks like so this is something that now we would be able to do in art programs rather than trying to use um, in-game pieces to try and make some sort of uh, rough looking map. So another really good use there. We have some random little signs, things such as this which is a funny one of course. Um, so just random little warning signs and random other signage. Um, you might have other warning signs you want to dot around. Uh, this is the smallest one, smallest uh, board we've got though and that is a light up one. Um, up here we have the educational sign, let me uh, go up a bit, so we've just got an example one, capybara, um, all the different things about it. Um, so this is something that where we can make our own custom signage for education instead of having in-game education boards, so we can actually put information and writing and uh, our own pictures and things like that on, so that's a really nice useful one. And then another one uh, things like menus and random other things 
that we might find signs for. So we might have just random signs for sponsorship, sponsorship. It's a hard word to say. Or animal adoptions. We might have a restaurant where we want menus in there. Um, we could have adverts for events and things that might be coming up. Just all sorts of different things that we can use that would be uh, related to signage that we can now put in the game. So yeah, a lot of really cool things there. Obviously a very obvious one, but there are various different uses rather than simple uh, animal information signs. Next, one of the big ones, implied exhibits. So we've got two different versions here. Uh, we've got a still image and we have got, if it plays, which it was a second ago, there we go, uh, we have got a video as well. So, one of the things that I know my, I, I have myself um, tried to put into some of my zoos that I've been building is these smaller implied exhibits. The big one, obviously, that we have in-game is quite large, um, a little unrealistic for a lot of the species in there. So this is something a little bit more realistic, um, slightly smaller, so using just pictures of these tanks and things like that we can get a kind of implied exhibit um, into our zoos in different places so obviously sizes and shapes could vary a little bit um, if you uh, wanted to fiddle about and um, get images that were half or half the size or a quarter of the size and then block certain bits off um, you could do that as well so there's a lot of flexibility there with them um, the only tricky part is finding the right kind of image, um, ideally one that kind of doesn't really look, it's got to be kind of face on um, and good colours and things like that in there um, and yeah not, not too much for background things like that, uh, border sorry and things like that so um, yeah a really good one and then obviously one of the big ones here people have been using already, a lot of people um, have had similar ideas of making um, implied aquarium so this is a, a video of some piranhas um, we have here in a fake piranha tank um, the only tricky thing with um, some of these videos as well as the actual um, pictures and things is making the scale look realistic um, so if we had a person here I can't remember I think this I think this is about four meters so these fish probably a little bit oversized slightly I'm not a piranha expert but um, yeah that's the that's the tricky thing and um, finding nice um, pictures and Im uh, videos that will suit the kind of size that you want but still a very nice um, technique to add that little bit of um, character into certain um, areas that we might not really have um, have anything for so you can also do ones on the floor um, I'm sure by now you may have seen on various social medias some people have been using these screens for um, things like koi ponds and things like that if they've got a, um, a top-down view of a koi pond stuff like that so that's another another option there that you could use for the uh, for the fish tanks um, so next one this is a, a little bit of an odd one um, a bit niche but um, still slightly possible it's it's very much depends on the build that you're doing and um, what you might even want it for um, but fake vistas so this is something I, I kind of was inspired by someone on a discord server that I saw use a fake vista that seamlessly blended into the actual terrain that they'd done um, just as a viewpoint but this is just a very rough example of something you could do that if you look out this window you've got a lovely sunset over the ocean view there um, kind of random but still possible um, but things like shadows and stuff on the uh, screen are an issue so it does depend on the building that you're doing ideally you'd want it on a build something that's indoors you won't have any of this glare that's why the uh, the roof is lower down here to cover the sun shining on the uh, the thing spoiling the illusion but yeah just a, a very random but something uh, a little bit different that you might want to incorporate into something if you had the need for it. Um, next, custom textures. Now this is a massive one. Um, obviously we are limited to the wall textures and things, um, floor textures, everything that we already have in the game. 
However, this um, opens up a big possibility of new textures um, for walls, roofs, um, ceilings, floors, all sorts of stuff. So, uh, as you can see here, we've got this um, slightly different stone brick texture for the walls. And then we've gone for this kind of stainless steel, um, grippy floor type material, which I'm sure you recognise um, from buildings that you might have been into before. Um, so yeah, this really does open up big possibilities for customization in buildings. Um, the tricky thing with this one is getting images that can be repeated um, as much as possible, and also obviously the size and shape of your buildings. Um, if you're using simple rectangular shapes or square shapes, um, you want to be able to to repeat these um, and not have weird um, joins and things. So you, this one's not too bad. Um, that is the join there. Um, which you kind of at a glance can't really even see um, but there is the join there if we come off it um, which you can only really see when you zoom right in but yeah at a glance you can't even really tell um, so yeah massive massive customization opportunities there so um, we're not limited now to just the textures that we have in the game um, for wall pieces construction items um, and then the final one that I've decided to use, there's, I'm sure there's more and uh, as people play and use these things I'm sure um, we'll have some other random interesting uses for these billboards and things come out. Um, but the last one that I thought of that was a really nice one to use was artwork. So um, although we have all these nice uses, this is something that we can just use to brighten up areas of our zoos, we can put them into animal buildings, we could, if we had cafes, we can put art into cafes, um, other buildings, we could have them just randomly dotted around. Um, it just gives us, again, more customization of buildings and areas. Um, we can brighten stuff up, this is a lovely toucan um, artwork here. Um, all of these images, everything that I've taken is just from Google searches, so um, quite quite easy to do, um, just making sure size-wise they're going to fit um, and not stretch and um, distort when they're actually in-game. Um, but yeah, just a really nice one to, uh, to be able to use, so we've got a polar bear one, we've got a tiger one and the toucan one, just, uh, just nice ways to brighten up your builds. Um, add into your zoo, add, add that customization again, I've used that word a lot. Um, so yeah, another another really nice uh, really nice use, so hopefully you found that useful, maybe there's something in there that you hadn't thought of yourself already. Um, if you did find something new, leave a, uh, leave a like, leave a comment. Um, comment as well if you have any other interesting uses that you've um, you've found for these so far. Um, as I said, I'm sure people will find all sorts of new interesting ways to use these, but these are just a few of the immediate ones that have come to mind while I've been playing and thinking about planning what I'm going to be using um, for my projects that I've been doing. Um, so yeah, thank you very much for watching, hopefully you enjoyed. As I say, leave, leave a like, um, leave a comment. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel for future videos. You can also join the Discord, talk about any of these things, ask for help if you need help on any of these, um, and also share things that you've used them for. So the link to the Discord, if you want to join, will be in the description. And you can also follow me on Twitch if you want to see my live building that I've been doing. And you can uh, follow me on Twitter as well, and there'll be a link um, down below. Um, thank you very much for watching. I'll leave you with a couple of shots of where I've used the murals in Crimson Valley Zoo, which is the zoo that I've been building, um, where I've used it in my, in, uh, not my implied, in my actual um, proboscis monkey and Malayan tapir mixed species enclosure.